What's going on everybody? I'm Davin and today I'm going to explain to you why the Streamlabs chatbot events tool is probably one of the most underappreciated and amazing tools that it has to offer. Let's get right into it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's talk Streamlabs chatbot events. In my opinion, events are probably one of the best tools you can have on Streamlabs chatbot to make a viewer feel special, make your stream feel unique, and personalize around your community. So what the Streamlabs chatbot event is, is it's like a trigger. When a viewer comes into your stream and talks for the first time or just joins, if you set it up specifically that viewer, it's gonna trigger a message or a sound bite or both to kind of announce their arrival. If we come down here to events on mine, you can see that I have certain viewers that when they come in, username right here for the viewer, it will trigger a soundbite or a message to announce over the stream that they are here. It makes them feel special. I will go into the plus screen right here. That's how to add one. The first thing you're going to see right here is ID. That's going to be the name of the Twitch user you want to add. Remember to keep it all lowercase though. If you capitalize any of it, it will not work. We're going to use myself as an example here. Just Davin in the ID. Username, Davin again. Just match it to the Twitch ID. You can use this to search, actually. Now, down under events, you're going to see speak or join. Join is when they join your channel, it's going to trigger. Speak is when they talk for the first time in the channel, it's going to trigger. It will only trigger on the first time that they talk or the first time that they talk since the Streamlabs chatbot has been reset. So if you stream and somebody comes in and talks and triggers it, and then you close chatbot and reopen it during the stream, it will re-trigger when they talk. Or if you forget to turn off chatbot between streams, it won't trigger unless you restart chatbot. Client only. I always keep this to false. Enabled, true or false. Essentially, whether it's on or off. Now, volume. Think of this like Steam games that you open for the first time. Turn it down. <laughs> Just turn it down. Save your ears the trouble. Everybody's had that moment when you open a Steam game for the first time and the volume is power level 9,000, okay? It blows your eardrums. This is an optional message right here. This is the message that will play in the chat when they talk for the first time. It'll just type out in the chat like a normal chat message from the name of the bot. So, for example, we'll type in check out Davin at twitch.tv forward slash Davin. And then that will play as a chat message when I talk for the first time. Now, this is the sound effects file that's going to play. This is the audio file that's going to play when they talk or join for the first time. So you're going to see how I kind of personalized and made mine unique to make my viewers feel special. We're going to use Pengies for an example. What I did to make mine feel special is I got the voice mod to for a voice changer, I changed it to like a commentary type of uh, announcer style voice. And I used um, Audacity to record, record my voice using this voice mod. And I personalized it to the viewer. And I'll show you how, what it sounds like. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the man who carries JJ on the court. Never forget, 28 and 3, Penguin of Fuzzy. Now that sound file is going to trigger when he comes into my chat and talks for the first time. Now you can see how I added my own personal flair to it. I talked a little crap because he's a, a Falcons fan. I had to bring up the 28-3 to choke job they had against the Patriots. I brought up the fact that he carries JJ on the court. It's a little bit of banter about NBA 2K. But you can see how that can make a viewer feel special. How you can make your stream feel unique. It's just an added layer that not a lot of people use. Not a lot of people even know about it. They just see events and skim over it. They want to find sound commands or use the currency or the mini games. Events are amazing. Events are just awesome to make your stream unique. So we're going to go ahead and submit that. And then we're going to go up here to console. And I'm just going to show you how it works when somebody talks for the first time. If we did this correctly, test. It should trigger. Now. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the man who carries JG on the court. Never forget, 28-3, Penguin of Fuzzy. Again, events. Super creative, super unique. Makes viewers feel super special. 
it's it's awesome. Do something special for your viewers. Let them know they're appreciated. Events is a great way to do it. Now, honestly, don't go overboard with it. Don't give it to every single viewer, or else all that's like, that's all you're gonna be hearing. It's just over and over and over and over again. Uh, also, try not to get DMCA'd. Don't use anything copyrighted. Try to make it unique and personal to your community. Have some fun with it. Get creative. Just You don't have to do it like me. Just get creative with it. Use, uh, use some ideas. But anyway, I'm Davin. I'm going to let you guys go here. I do stream on Twitch every Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, on Saturday, and Saturday. Uh, I start around 4.30 p.m. Central every day, but Wednesday, which I start at 9 a.m., I do talk about this stuff on stream. Anybody that has a question on anything like this or wants some ideas on how to make this stream more unique can feel free to pop in, say hello, ask in the comments, join the Discord. All that information will be down in the description below. Again, I appreciate you guys. I will keep trying to bring you videos on how to make your stream more unique or tools you can use to make your viewers or your stream more interactive. And uh, I guess I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a good one and peace. Can I get some music for this? Nope. How long was that well? You said 30 seconds. How long have I been going? 10. Yeah, I have no idea, I'm not even watching. Uh, no comment. <laughs>